hello beautiful blessed beings oh, my hair is in my eye I wanted to do a video and cut this down just a little bit because with Venus being in cancer right now I know emotions are really super high um, we've got a lot of feelings we're all in our feels we are in cancer the Sun is in cancer Venus is in cancer Venus governs love she's the goddess of love Cancer's mantra is I feel and a lot of times the feelings that we have they're what we consider negative feelings now I go through in the moon phase calendar journal for this month how feelings are not positive or negative they just are like feelings just are and there's really no bad feelings like it just is what it is like that's just what it is and you learn a lesson from every single feeling now we had the three of swords come up in our daily pool yesterday and I've actually been getting a lot of three of swords energy myself so when I get a lot of three of swords energy there is a little meditation I do for myself with the three of swords so I figured in doing that meditation today why not share it with my peoples so I have here let me put this over here so you can see pink candle and inside the pink candle on the bottom here I don't know if you can see it I have a pinch each of sage rosemary and rose petals so I've already cleansed it with my sage bundle that I've got here and I pulled out the three of swords from one of my favorite decks this is the tarot illuminati which I'm using for this so now pull out your three of swords and join me in this meditation you can go ahead and pause while you get your three of swords or if you don't have a three of swords like if you don't have a tarot deck that's fine this will still work for you because you can just use mine so now and I've got some thunderstorm in the background as our little ambiance for this meditation this is really gonna help us to release wounds in our heart so we're gonna start by just placing that three of swords in your heart space right there and put it underneath the mic well I'll put it a little higher so that any one of you who don't have the three of swords you can feed off my energy all right and let's begin go ahead and close your eyes and we're gonna take four deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth now before we do that sorry 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 if you are not familiar with the three of swords let me give you a second to look at it and get the image of that heart with the three swords piercing in your mind because we're gonna use that in this meditation all right so nice and comfy close your eyes start with four deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth Now allow your breath to be natural and focus your attention on your calming, soothing breath. Allow your bones to hang heavy, your muscles to relax and sink deep into your chair or cushion. Let your thoughts drift away like clouds and focus your attention only on the breath. Now see yourself standing on a rocky shore. The sky is gray, it's thundering, it's lightning, the waves are crashing violently, the wind is howling, it's cold, and before you, you see a heart. That heart is pierced by three mighty swords. You can see the blood from the heart just dripping down the blades of the sword. And you connect with that heart. 
That heart reminds you of all the pain, all the suffering, all the heartache that you've endured throughout your life. And seeing that heart, those emotions come to surface for you. Let them come to surface for you now. Bring to the surface all the times you were wronged, neglected, abused, traumatized, hurt. And just feel that in your body. Feel the rain beating down on you, colds like icicles, the wind chilling you to your bones, the crashing waves coming right up to your feet. You feel the harshness of the rocky shore, the rocks digging in your feet, thunder and lightning crashing. Being in a state of discomfort. Allow all those feelings to come to the surface. If you feel you need to release and cry it out, go ahead and do so now. Now with those feelings right at the top, right on the surface, you're going to reach out with your hands and pull out the sword on the left. In one fell swoop, you just pull that sword right out of the heart. Take the sword and dig it deep into the rocky shore. As you do so, you see a brilliant, bright light emanating from the wound in the heart. Where that bright light touches, the sky opens clear and the rocky shore turns to beautiful soft sand. That sword that you placed in the ground turns into a beautiful red rose, tall and strong. In your heart, you can feel that wound healing. Feel that release, that release of pain, of heartache, and suffering. Now go to the sword on the right and do the same thing. Pull it out. Dig it deep into the earth. Watch it transform into a beautiful rose. See white light emanating from that wound as well. Clearing the sky, softening the sand softening the ocean, allowing there to be peace, tranquility in your heart. The thunder and lightning subside, the waves become more calm, and you can feel yourself healing even more. That white light is just penetrating now go to the center sword, pull that out as well, dig it deep into the earth, watch it transmute into a beautiful rose, and as that last sword is pulled and that last wound emanates beautiful bright light, see that entire heart turn into a ball of beautiful brilliant white light. See the sky open up so it is now beautiful blue with fluffy clouds. The sun is shining, you can hear the birds overhead. The rocky shore turns into smooth sandy beaches, calm and serene. The waves are gently crashing, massaging your feet underneath of you. And as you look at the heart now, a beautiful bright ball of light, you see that the wounds from where the sores were removed are gone. They're healed. Breathe in the light from that heart. And as you breathe it in, it gets closer and closer and closer to you. Until you breathe that into your being. 
you're now filled with pure love and light, the ability to heal your wounds, transmute those emotions that you once deemed negative into positive, useful learning experiences. Allow yourself to be absorbed by pure divine love and light. See the beautiful ocean crystal clear and blue. Feel the soft sand under your feet, the warmth of the sun, drying your body, energizing your muscles and bones. All is well, all is well, all is well. Allow yourself to be healed now, to absorb the light of that bright, beautiful heart. Embody it. Take a nice, deep, cleansing breath. Integrate that energy into your DNA. Allow a gentle smile to come on your lips. Bring yourself back into your body and slowly open your eyes. And there you have it. We have transmuted that energy, that rough energy from the Three of Swords into something that is peaceful, loving, kind. Know that we are all going to go through emotions that are going to try us. We're going to go through emotions that we think that are just, why us? Why me? Why is this going on? It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. But know that it's up to us to interpret our emotions. We interpret them however we see fit. So even when someone hurts your feelings, know that, all right, maybe they hurt your feelings, but you know you've got some feelings. So they can be healed. You can be healed. You can heal yourself. So please do return to this meditation when you're feeling heavy in your heart and just pull those swords out, allow those wounds to heal and embody a love of pure divine love and light. Embody that heart of pure divine love and light. So peace and blessings, my beautiful beings of love and light. Please do share this with those that you feel will benefit from it. And please do revisit it often to help you heal your heart. I love you all so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I will see you soon.